And yet the Ranmimbi, as I'm arguing, is using the same underlying technology that he's talking about to limit its ability to go internationally. So how do you build up an electronic token, which okay, I'm holding it here as if it's electronic and you can see it, which is made up of a composite of dollars, euros, yen, renminbi, sterling, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. How do you do that when the Chinese component wouldn't be allowed to be moved outside China? And the, the nuts and bolts of that electronically, philosophically, politically, don't add up. Could you have an internal digital currency and an external one? Oof, okay, that's, that's a left field question. I'm not quite sure how that would operate because the, the, the ability to move from one to the other is the key well, think question. think about it, right? So, so internally, you're very clear on the rules mm. that you use. Okay, well, I think I can answer that question. I've had a moment to, to think about it. You really pulled one out of left field there. Let's just take the word digital out and just sure. talk about exactly. saying, have we got two currencies? We got have, two currencies. Have we had that in the past? Absolutely. Yes. And we have had them. Well, in China, we have CMY and CNH, mm -hmm. onshore and offshore. Mm -hmm. We've had that in other currencies, including the Thai baht, in the, in the recent past. And if you look back at other communist countries, genuinely communist, like Soviet Union in the old days, they had the internal ruble and the external ruble, mm. effectively. Mm. The interesting thing there is that when you have one to the other, generally the reason that's done is the exchange rate between the two is completely unrealistic. In that internally, you say my money is very strong and it's worth X, Y, and Z, and externally nobody wants it, which is why you then have to set an artificial exchange rate. And the only people who transact at that level are diplomats or people who are forced to transact at that level. And it's actually used as an arbitrage to to gain revenue for the country. Now that may sound a little bit technical, but effectively what I'm saying is, if you're saying I've got an internal currency and I've got an external currency, that's a sign of weakness, not of strength, whether, right. it's, whether it's digital or not digital. And the world, I would imagine, you would hope would be moving towards, and that Mr. Carney is alluding we're moving towards, is where there are no barriers, where effectively you no longer have these volatile shifts in exchange rates, because we're all on one money. The same way in California or New York, or Hawaii, or Texas, or Alaska, it's just the dollar. You know, prices adjust, salaries adjust, but you don't have these other underlying problems. That's more what I think he's alluding to. And an internal versus an external yeah. doesn't get us any closer. 